Okay, so a lot of bit of drama with the uh, with the boat and the uh, Canal and River Trust, and it's it floored me. I'll be honest. Yesterday, so anyway, I got an email. Bear in mind that I bought this mooring on the seventh of September, so eighteen days ago. Uh, paid the deposit, signed everything, uh, got confirmation email, got given a date that I can move up onto the mooring, I got uh, a welcome pack, I got the uh, electricity login thing, I've paid for electricity, uh, I got the information on how to get the keys for the gates, I was given a key to the gate and for the toilets and all that kind of stuff, right? And I've been staying there ever since with no problem at all, right? Yesterday, I get an email saying, uh, in regards to your application, now it wasn't an application, I paid for it. Uh, well, I paid the deposit, sorry. In regards to your application, you failed a credit check. Um, so, unless you pay the full amount up front, we're gonna cancel your application. So, essentially what they're saying is I can't pay monthly because I failed a credit check. A credit check that I didn't even know they were doing. They didn't tell me they were doing it. But in their terms and conditions, I did look and it said they may or may not do a credit check. Now, I'd like to have been informed that they're going to do a credit check. But no, they did a credit check and for whatever reason it failed. Now, uh, I'm not sure why it failed or why they need it needed to be credit because it's something you pay monthly like car insurance or a mobile phone contract and all that kind of thing which I've got I've got all that stuff I've got credit cards I've got all, all sorts of stuff my credit isn't brilliant because um, I've not had credit for uh, many years I've just got by but then recently I started to try and build my credit rating up so I took out credit cards and stuff like that to, to, to try and build that up anyway that's you know another part of the story so I failed a credit check, so therefore I'm not able to pay monthly for the mooring. And they want me to pay £1,200 up front. Fucking £1,200 up front. Where, where do they think I'm going to get £1,200 from? Anyway, so uh, I phoned them this morning and said, no, I, I can't pay you £1,200, that's it. And she said, well, you know, we're going to have to put your mooring back up for sale. I said, right, so what's the time scale on that then? How long have I got? She goes, well, with immediate effect, you have to move. I was like, okay. So you're telling me that I have to uh, move my boat somewhere uh, today? And she said, yeah. I said, no, I'm not doing that. She said, right, well, we'll have to remove your... We'll uh, have to remove uh, your boat then. I said, fine, okay. So how long is that process going to take then before you send somebody round to... Uh, remove my boat. She said, well, we don't know time scales. I have to speak to a manager about it. I said, right, well, it's going to park there until until you move it. And let me know when you're moving it and uh, I'll, I'll make sure I'm there. And anyway, at that point, the, the call was ended. So then, uh, a little bit later, I got a phone call from somebody else from the Canal and River Trust. And, um, just bear with me. Yeah, later on I got um, a phone call from somebody else at the Canal River Trust. Same thing, you know, we, we will have to remove your boat. So I said, well, what do you expect me to do with my boat then? Just just untie it and let it float off? Well, you'll have to find a cheaper mooring. No, 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 I like, I like it where I am, thank you very much. I've got a, a, an old man that I need to uh, upset for the rest of his life on the canal. I need to be parked next to him, I need to be pissing him off. So I'm staying where I am until you move my boat. Anyway, so, he said, you know, the same thing, we're gonna have to remove your boat, blah, blah, blah. I said, right, so what are the timescales on that then? How long's it gonna take for you to get the 
the facilities, uh, what, what is the process? Where do you take it to? What, what are you going to do with it? And he didn't have the answers for that. And at that point, I just thought, well, what, what are you going to do then? Well, I think it was a, a bit, bit of an idle threat. Anyway, so this is causing me a lot of stress because obviously, you know, I've been moved around in my van and, and, uh, and, and that's been quite stressful. Uh, I am also battling all kinds of other things in the background which have been very stressful um, that, that some of you may know about and some of you may not I, my head's all over the place and then I thought I found a settled place with the boat and then I'm being, it's all been turned upside down again so watch this space who knows what might happen now I, I could be um, I could be a continuous cruiser uh, just cruising down the canal I might, I might end up having to be off the grid completely and not, uh, uh, not hooked up to a mooring, which is not really what I wanted to do on the boat. For sure. Who knows? So, what a fucked up day. I was having such a good day yesterday as well. Uh, on a side note. Uh, it was my day off yesterday. And it turned out to be a really nice day, really sunny, really chilled. And then I was speaking to my neighbours, uh, well, my temporary neighbours, who were from New Zealand. We just sat out all day, just chilling and chatting and eating cheese and crackers. And, oh, it was so good. And then in the middle of all that, I got this email. And I ignored the email. I read it and then ignored, and chose to ignore it to try and not let it ruin my day. But in the back of my head... I was thinking, well, what the flipping heck's going to be happening now? What's going to go on? Where am I going to go? What am I going to do? It's just caused, it's just unnecessary. Now, this, this is, this is, this is just a test. I know it is. It's just in life, you just people, you are sent these tests. You are sent these things to just get, try and pull you back, try and pull you down. Then you can't let them beat you. No matter what happens now, they're going to have a battle on their hands if, if, if they choose to go that way. Uh, it will cost them money, long term, not me. So if they want to fight me for that, then they can fight me for that. Um, I'll just try and make it as difficult as possible. I don't want to. I'd rather just have an easy life. This is, I chose the boat life for the easy life, you know. Um, but no matter where you are or what you're doing or uh, where you go... There's always somebody trying to trying to pull you back. Ah, stuff them people. They, ah, whatever. <laughs> Get out of here. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and thank you very much for your kind comments and support. Uh, I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.